particularly from Christians, maybe that's just because who I follow, but it's a lot of outrage. Did you see what happened in the opening ceremony of the Olympics? I did. I saw it. I'm not saying we shouldn't be grieved. I'm not saying it shouldn't bother us. I sat there and watched it. I was bothered too. I didn't like what I saw. I'm not saying there's no place ever to speak out against stuff like that, but here's what I've noticed. I've noticed that all of our outrage isn't converting anybody. People, people aren't flooding into the church because we're pointing out how mad we are about what's going on out there. And in fact, what I'm seeing is a group of people who are going, look, how about y'all deal with your own mess, church? Because as I see it, you got brokenness in, inside the church. I, I, I see pastor scandals. I, I, I look at your home. I look at your family. It looks a lot like mine. And what we're doing is we're, we're saying, you, we're outraged at you. God, do something about them. When the scripture really talks more about, Lord, do something in me. Look at what Peter says in 1 Peter 4, 17. For it is time for judgment to begin with God's household. In other words, let it begin here. Instead of being outraged about what's going on out there, how about we get zealous to see God bring a movement of righteousness and holiness in here? Lord, purify us. Our message is falling on deaf ears. Let me tell you, you're not winning anyone, converting anyone, getting into arguments in the comments section of a social media post. No one is, no one is, no one is moved. All we're doing is yelling at each other from our own positions. And I, honestly, I have to, I, personally, this is just me, not the Lord, but I think it's a waste of time. There's other things I want to do with my life than trying to convince someone that their position is wrong. No one has ever been argued into the kingdom of God, but I do think they've been loved into the kingdom. And so I'm not saying, Christians, we don't need to take a stand. There are times where we do. But what Peter is saying here is, look, if it begins with us, if judgment begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? In other words, Peter is not saying judgment's never coming. He's not saying, don't worry about the world, turn a blind eye to evil, doesn't matter. No, he's be grieved, but let the Lord do his work in us. And if God purifies us, and if we allow him to judge and speak to us, to rebuke and correct lovingly us, you can rest assured he'll do that in the rest of the world. 